Hey there y'all, Ty here. Today is Tuesday, so you know what that means. That means today is another episode of Let's Talk Tuesdays. And I really hope you can't hear, but they're like, leave, blowing leaves outside. Which is stupid because it's about to like pour down rain, so I don't know. And they've been in the exact same spot for the past 30 minutes. So, let's try to make this video and hopefully it's not too annoying. Really wish they would go away. Also, I kind of look a mess right now, but that is because I wanted to shoot this real fast before I go to work, and I go to work in less than 45 minutes. So, here we go. They're not even doing anything. And I mean, it's about to rain, so, and most likely it's going to be like a freaking thunderstorm. So my guest, my guest will special to watch. So my special guest of the week is this peace tea. I've heard a lot about this and I had gone to Big Lots to go get the Hubert's peach tea lemonade that I had gotten like two videos back. They were sold out. They were completely sold out. It made me so upset. That stuff was so good. But I've heard a lot about uh, this peace tea and they had a pink lemonade one. So I was like, why not? Like I said, I'm not the biggest tea person. So if I don't like this, don't be surprised. But let's see. Oh, was I supposed to shake this one? Yes! Ugh. Here goes nothing. Hmm. This isn't too bad either. If all lemonade tea tastes like this, yes. Um, I actually only got this for 75 cents. And I think what, they usually go for a dollar at gas stations and stuff. But this is so good. I, I can dig it. Speaking of Big Lots, I used to go to Big Lots with my mom all the time back home. And by back home, I mean down in like Port Neches. We used to shop there a lot. It was a nice place and they always had really cute stuff. They had a big variety of like holiday stuff, toys, some groceries, house things, uh, toiletries. They had just, it was a really nice place. Our Big Lots over here, I've only been to like twice. And it's not as nice as the one back home. And I don't know if that's just because maybe Big Lots has kind of gone downhill. Or maybe some are good, some aren't that great. But when I walk into this one, I just don't feel like the same vibe. And they don't really have as much, like, as many good things as they used to back when I used to go there. That being said, it has been a few years since I actually shopped at Big Lots. But I thought today we'd kind of do, like, a Big Lots haul. I went yesterday with my dad. Uh, we hung out for Mother's Day. And afterwards, I really wanted to stop by Big Lots to get that tea. And like I just said, they didn't have it, but I did get some other things while I was there. Oh look, they stopped blowing the leaves. Yay. First thing I saw while I was there, besides the tea, were these super blow pop suckers. These are the sour ones and they're my favorite and I figured these would go really good with the tea. I don't know how that logic made sense in my mind. This was only a dollar, so I figured, eh, not too bad. And then I went to the face product aisle because I'd gotten some wipes from there not too long ago. I really liked them. I'd never heard of the brand before. It's called like Epiel. I tried out their cucumber wipes and I really, really liked them. So I got some more of them. They're only two bucks for like a pack of 60. I really, really, really love the scent of these. They smell so good. I usually take the sticker off with her face because for some reason I just think she's really creepy. Sorry lady, if you're watching this. You're just a little creepy. While I was in that aisle, I was trying to look for this face mask that they had by the same brand, and I could not find it for the life of me. It made me so mad. But what I did find were these Lip Smackers lip balms. When I was a kid, I had a ton. And I especially loved the like shiny ones, like the ones with the shiny packaging, because those were always the best for some reason. They were only $2.50 for a four pack, and they come with berry pie, cinnamon swirl, butter brickle, don't know what that is, and sugar plum. I wanted to get the other one because it had a peppermint one, but it also came with a lip gloss and was a dollar more, so I said, no, thank you. I will just get this one. Which one should I try first? Let's do the sugar plum. I liked that one as a kid. I just realized that these actually have glitter in them. Oops. Could have probably passed on those. And then like I said, I was looking for these face masks and I was looking and I was looking and I was looking and I could not find them, but I did find some nose strips by them. Like I said, it's by the brand Epiel. I want to say that's how it's pronounced, but I'm not sure because like I said, I've never heard of the brand, but it's spelled E-P-I-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, Epiel. And you can't see it, but the camera's focusing on this creepy girl. I'm telling you, this is like... How does this not creep anyone else out? Is it just me? I feel like she's so 
like scary creepy and it's focusing on her focus on me camera I love no strips especially because I have big pores and they get clogged really easily and really fast these were only two bucks so I was like why not let's try it out as I was making my way to the checkout counter I found the face masks um, I was super excited. I kind of did a little freak out dance in front of my dad. It's one of those face masks that you actually put the whole paper on your face and then you peel it off after the time. I've never done those. I've only ever done like the lush ones. And I got the cucumber one because I really like the cucumber wipes. And the wipes and the face masks did come in different kind of like scents. Some of them were like citrusy, some were green tea, others were aloe vera, but I really liked the scent of the cucumber, so I thought I'd stick with that. This was only $2 as well. Not too bad of a haul. That's the one thing I really like about Big Lots is that they're relatively cheap. If you're trying to ball on a budget, definitely want to check Big Lots out. I know this isn't as fun or personal as Let's Suck Tuesdays usually are, but I'm on a time crunch right now. Some of y'all are probably in college. Finals are going on now. How's that going? Are you stressed out? Are you passing? And for those of you that are still in school, school and not college, how's that going for you? Are you passing your classes? I sure hope so. But I don't know, how are you guys doing? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a, in a while. I hope y'all are doing great. I'm doing okay. Could be doing a little better, but I can't complain at the moment, so it is what it is. So I guess that's gonna be it for this video. If you liked this video, please give me a big thumbs up it would mean so much to me what stores do you like to shop at when you are bargain hunting one of mine is big lots because like i said it's super cheap tell me in the comments below because i'd really like to know do you shop at big lots am i the only one who still shops at big lots tell me in the comments below if you haven't already you should definitely subscribe to me because it'd make me so so happy and until next time stay oh that's the wrong side <laughs> so until next time stay rad bye there's no point